Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Guys, what you're doing, where is the conversation, next conversation headed with your person? This reading though, guys, is for new relationships, new connections, where we don't have a past or history together. I will have a timestamp in the description box for those of us that are looking for a current with past and history. So, if you're looking for that one, use the timestamp. Let's jump in, guys. I'm doing their energy, your energy. Uh, but the energies can be reversed. Sometimes um, I will pick them up reversed. So, just know that. Let's jump in. See, strongest energy forward for my Taurus on New Connection. Let's find their energy right now. This is for my Taurus. Ooh, we've got a wheel of fortune. Ooh, they're feeling good. They're feeling lucky. Things are getting better. But on the shadow side of that, they may be worried about uh, repeat patterns, making mistakes again. So, yeah. Let's see uh, your energy. This is for my Taurus. Pop. Got a two of swords. We're taking our time. We're putting off making uh, decisions about this person right now. Where is it headed for us? Let's see where it's headed for us. Ooh, Empress energy. Ooh, we're going to be doing a lot of talking with that Empress. Mm -hmm. Observing, but uh, a lot of talking, a lot of asking questions. Um, Empress energy is normally a sit-down energy. She doesn't take a lot of action. She observes things. She listens really well and stuff before she makes her decisions. So, but it is a glow-up energy, guys. So, it, it is an indication that the, the connection, the feelings we have towards each other will be growing the more we talk and open up to each other. I'm going to come back over here on your uh, person, the first person. Let's find out a little bit about what they are looking for in a connection. Ace of Cups, love, real love, true love. Mm-hmm. See what else? So anything they're not looking for, and we're also open to that one, guys. Sometimes it's easier for people to pinpoint what they don't want rather than what they do want. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. I don't know. I got a feeling this person really knows what they want. Mm -hmm. Or not King of Cups. It's King of Pentacles. Guys, it's you. Taurus. Taurus energy. But they're looking for practicality. Somebody that's uh, not got their heads up in the cloud all, all in a dreamy state that are is goal oriented and knows how to get the things they want they know how to handle life uh, loyalty persistence that kind of thing so hmm let's see if there's anything else they want to tell us Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, that they are looking for someone that's not holding their options open, that know what they want. Like I said, I was picking up this person over here, knows what they want. Um, they don't juggle partners, things like that. This, is, this card is going to be indicating what they don't want, what they're not looking for is someone that has got multiple options Keeping herself open to multiple options and stuff. Somebody that's truthful, honest, grounded, uh, really loyal, think fidelity, the loyalty, trustworthy, that kind of thing. So this person is definitely looking for a real connection. Um, and anytime we get that earth energy, <clears throat> y'all's energy, guys, things are going to go slow, slow till we we are clear about things. Uh, before commitments or anything like that um, will happen in this connection. So, let's come in on your energy because we've got you over here in the Two of Swords of going... Hmm? Two of Swords indicates you putting off making a definite decision about something. Uh, and it's also indicating you also need to be able to trust. Trust. Uh, the person being authentic with you might be stressing a little bit, uh -huh. but also uh, the fact that I'm pulling, trying to pull in what we want, don't want. Uh, we really don't want a lot of drama 
with someone, someone bringing in a lot of drama that would cause a lot of stress, and uh, we're, we're not wanting to get uh, attached or involved enough that it causes us stress and leaves us, our imagination running all over the place of what's the truth. Mm -hmm. For some of us, we might be a little bit edgy when we first meet someone uh, where we are looking to, you know, and being vigilant of any red flags. So, yeah. But we definitely don't want somebody that's bringing in a lot of drama. Yeah, are we battle weary. <laughs> when it comes to connection, guys, we are battle weary. But it's also, like I said, with it, these two coming together, it's showing me we do not want drama. Somebody that we've got, you know, we've got to constantly be in a mental, emotional battle with. We've got nuns here, um, Taurus, so uh, it's indicating that we are self. Um, have went through in the past with connections. Our experiences has been an emotional, mental battle. And it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm tired. I don't want to do it no more. Yeah. So no wonder we're putting off uh, getting too involved with the person. Mm, let's see what else is going to come out for you. Page of Swords, whoosh, okay. Page of Swords is an unformed opinion about someone, unformed decision. Don't really know yet, but I'm open to observing, <laughs> listening, looking. Uh huh. Um, it, Page of Swords is, there's curiosity, but we want things to be clear, and we're not going to get really involved with this person until we know for sure. Uh, what what what's going on with them? Thus the um, Empress card, and for somebody it just went through my head because the baby popped in in her hand. Oh, we want to know about children for some reason. So yeah, from the person. So we might be having a conversation about future stuff uh, when it comes to children. Hmm. Let's come in on the Empress. Let's see if we can get a little more detail. We definitely, there's might be ch children already involved or, uh, feel, you know, feelings about children, priority, responsibilities, things like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. A judgment card. Mm. Ooh, this conversation, whatever we're having, guys. Uh, about the past, for some of us, it, you know, it may, children may not be the issue, but for a lot of us, it's going to be with these two cards coming out. Uh, we're not going to make a decision and and about getting involved with this person until we know. It's an indication uh, there's something one of us wants to ask the other and find out the truth. You know, we want to know where they stand. When it comes to past children, responsibility, obligations, things like that. Uh, and, yeah. Because that judgment is about um, making a decision. Mm -hmm. It's a verdict. <laughs> Put it that way. It's similar to the judge uh, justice card of making a final um, decision or judgment about something um the conversation that we are headed towards is going to reveal to us because this is love's recognition kind of uh you recognize you're able to make a clear decision uh and that judgment on whether or not this is a relationship that will go what long term Ten of Pentacles. Can can we build together? Is this stable? Underneath, we're going to want to know about betrayals, things like that. Mm -hmm. And Sun card, we want the truth. Three of Cups, and we also want to know. It's so, I'm, I'm taking the Three of Cups because, guys, it's a successful conclusion. It's something to celebrate, and it is social, being social, open talking but it's also bringing me back to the first person of they want to know there's not uh you're not keeping yourself open to multiple options that kind of thing not talking to more than one person uh, are you sort of like are you real with me 
Three of Wands, ooh, Three of Wands is things are going to turn out better than we expect they will, but we're not budging because uh, Two of Wands is stand still to reevaluate. Uh, three is still evaluating, but you're seeing a, a return of something. You're seeing how it's directing its course uh, with this person, so... But we are headed for serious conversations, but the fact that we got the three cups, it, the seriousness is going to be coming out in a natural, easy way for us to be able to uh, ask what we need to ask for both of us and find out what we need to find out. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and get messages, um, quick brief messages. I'm going to let the first person talk, then the second person will go back and forth with the message cards. Let's get this big deck going here. Mm. It's very obvious we're feeling something towards the person, but uh, mentally, we've got both of us have mental blocks that I'm just not sure yet. Mm -hmm. Let's come on first person and see what they want to say. The beauty of your soul takes my breath away. Ooh. You be looking good to them. <laughs> yes. Let's come in on second person your or your energy. I'm always thinking about you. Yep. On my mind. One more with that. Let's just have fun. Ooh. I don't want to stress things. Let's get to know each other. Have a little bit of fun. Don't turn everything in. And like I said, we're headed for a serious conversation, but I'm picking it up more as it flows naturally and it doesn't feel like we're drilling each other to find out what we need to know. Uh, we're just conversating real easy. Back over here on first person. There is so much I need to say. Yeah. Back over here on second person. I'm burning with passion and desire for you. Ooh, but we ain't going to be showing that one. None of the cards indicated that we will go on, even hint at it towards them yet. One more over here. Mm -hmm. I know we have a real connection. Uh-oh. Feeling it. Feeling it, but very guarded. Back to first person. Ooh, that one just flew out, guys. I feel so intimidated. Are you intimidating, Taurus? <laughs> Sometimes you can be. Mm -hmm. Look, the intensity of this connection allures and frightens me. Very, very guarded. Uh, both of us just know we have that in likeness. Uh, and like I said, uh, the fact that we got over here. Ooh, can we just, you know, have some fun. Spend some time together. No expectations. Let's just get to know each other and... See where everything leads. And like I said, the conversation is going to lead into what we need to know about each other. And feeling a little more confident. We'll be able to make a clear uh, decision um, and have a clear verdict about, do I want to continue on uh, in this connection, getting to know this person? By the end of the conversation, we'll know. Oh, Taurus, I like that. Guys, I hope it was helpful. I'm sending you love and light. Bless be. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. Guys, I am doing their energy, your energy. Mm -hmm. We're going to see where you're at in the connection, what their feelings, desires are, yours are, and where the, what kind of conversation we're headed towards. Where are we headed? What's the next conversation between us? <laughs> Let's jump in, guys. Oh, uh, this week, we are using the Mystic Dreamer Tarot, and I put reversals into the deck. Yes. Y'all know I don't normally do that, but for some reason with these readings, I was really drawn to uh reverse half the deck so yeah we're going to use evolutionary first i want to pull their energy y'all know the energies can be reversed take it however it resonates for you if you're cross washing of course it can be reversed but i'm gonna do their energy first let's see what's going pop what's going on we've got gossip hang on because we got two more coming out with this one rumors and casual conversation talk around town Spread of embarrassing or false information. Ooh. 
third eye connecting with higher self, spiritual insight and foresight, seeing things crystal clear, intuitive guidance. One more. Self-discovery, finding a way forward, seeing the hidden truth. Ow, guys, okay. Just with this one, this is telling me that uh, somebody was influenced by talk. Talk by other people. Mm -hmm. And they're seeing something clear now about it was through the grapevine. <laughs> and they shouldn't have been listening. It's coming on your energy. Guys, they're flying over here. Hang on. We've got secrets. Mm -hmm. Holding back, keeping things hidden, not telling the entire truth, buried knowledge. Hold on. Setbacks. Prepare for the unexpected. Only you can hold yourself back. Pick up and try again. Slow and steady wins the race. One more. Uh, maturation. Spiritual and emotional uh, maturation. Awareness and understanding. Evolved outlook and life perspective experienced and exercising good judgment. Wow. Secrets? Ooh, okay. Setbacks. But we're seeing things uh, clearly now. More mature about the connection. Ooh. Like I said over here, somebody followed gossip. Followed gossip and, and found out what they were believing, what was going around, what was being said wasn't so true because they're seeing crystal clear now. But, dude, <laughs> Taurus, you'd be like, mm -mm, I ain't divulging nothing else to you. Because mm -hmm. we're holding ourselves back, back from the connection and questioning the connection. Because, it, you know, it's like <laughs> grown wiser. Yes, let's come back on first person's energy. Let's see what's coming out on them. Got a nine of swords. Stress, anxiety, illusions. Sometimes, guys, it's distortion. Uh, that is the better word for the energy of that one. Got a king of a pentacles. They didn't see you quite clearly, did they, Taurus? <laughs> no. So, got you upside down. And five of pentacles. Wow. Mm. They held their self back. Uh, the Emperor. <clears throat> Ooh, what just fell out? Hold on. King of Wands. They, dang. Okay. Look at all this uh, energy, masculine energy coming forward. And King of Cups. Guys, wow. Okay. <laughs> yes, all the kings uh, showing up here. All but the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we've got a page of pentacles. Where they were at standstill energy now, they're seeing something clearly, guys. Uh, whatever the rumor, they found out something was not true. They believed something about you that was not true. Uh-huh. And they found out the truth of it because they come out of uh, a pause mode. A knight of swords. Now they don't know what to do. They're unbelievably challenged. They made a rash decision and took action too quick. Uh, in what, uh, what going by what they were hearing. Mm hmm. Got, but we've got some major, major energy over here with all these uh, uh, kings. Wow. Stressed out. Held themselves back. Mm -hmm. intentionally a five of pentacles the pentacles are always there in front of us but for whatever reason we don't reach out and grab a hold of them and take advantage of it it's missed opportunity guys emperor they are kicking themselves they're not feeling so so <laughs> masculine now i don't know how else to put it but powerful <laughs> in control uh because when our emperor comes in on his head it does have him questioning what can I do now? What do I have control over now? And a lot of times the answer will come back. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> but just accept it. But they don't like An emperor does not like that. Uh, that king of cups coming in last. With that king of wands. Is they now know what they want. They want to take some action. But they don't know how to fix the problem. Uh, because they've hurt some feelings. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going here. Let's shuffle this deck up. I'm going to come in on your energy over here. Mm -hmm. of like I ain't sharing nothing else with, with this person <laughs> yes keeping it all to myself 
the secret card, guys, and it's, it's definitely a setback. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, tower. Tower, I'm seeing things clearly now. We got the cherry card. I ain't doing it with you no more because that's a battle wagon. That, that, a lot of times, cherry card will represent um, precision, uh, willing to be persistent, devoted, and dedicated to, ch to chasing after something. But it's also a card when it comes in like that. It's like, nope, I ain't doing it again. I done learned my lesson. That I'm choosing my battles wisely this time. So we did have a tower, and it's really threw us off. And we got Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Yeah. Ow. Listen, let me clarify on that Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Let's do those together because that's wish fulfillment. Uh, it's almost saying that we we were expecting long term to build, be in this connection with this person long term. And that was our desire. Our desire. But now that chariot's up on its head and it's like, no, mm -mm, this ain't what I'm doing long term. Five of Wands, things are chaotic, confusing, and we feel like we we weren't seen or heard in a in a chaotic bunch of mess, and we've got a Five of Cups. We ain't grieving it neither. <laughs> that Five of Cups being up on its head is like I'm not I'm not I'm not crying one more tear uh, for this anymore, because our way of thinking that tower is drastic, guys. It's like, mm, yeah. Oh, uh, what was ruling over you before? What was important before? Are you seeing it different now? Let's see where the possible uh, conversation with this person might be headed. Five of Swords. Some, ooh, that's, that's not a good one. <laughs> Hang on. Eight of Wands. Uh, yeah, we're not going nowhere on that one. Queen of Swords is going to be really cold, which explains the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is about... Um, bittersweet victories of using your words to cut somebody down just to make them feel bad. <laughs> yes. And we've got the Emperor's card. We glowed up. Yes, we did. We glowed up on this, guys. But like I said, any conversation that we're going to have, uh, and I'm feeling it over here on your energy, uh, it's going to end up uh, not nice. It's going to cut this person to pieces. It's going to shred them to pieces. Because they, they, they've they hit a, a wall. A big time wall. Because they made some bad mistakes. Uh, bottom of the deck. We've got strength card. Mm -hmm. Whoo. Being bold and brave. But guys. Uh, with this one. It's through hard times. Uh -huh. Facing challenging times. Uh, but it's also learning how to tame your inner beast, but also the outer beast, and train the outer beast of what your boundaries are. Ooh. So just know, any conversation headed our way is going to be very cold. Huh? It's going to hurt. It's going to be cutting, and it's not going to move us forward right now. Absolutely not. There's no forward motion uh, when the Eight of Wands comes in. Uh, upside down, there's no moving it forward. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull uh, text messages. I'm gonna let your person over here talk first, then we'll go, we'll alternate back and forth. Over here, first person. I need to move on, but we still have unfinished business. There's one more with that one. You're giving them everything you promised me. Mm -hmm. Let's come in over here on this cold. <laughs> oh, bull. Let's put it that way. Because this is representing y'all's energy. I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tower. That tower in the maturity. Uh huh. And you held yourself back. But you're seeing clearly now my anxiety's gotten away, also. Let's come back over here on first person. Let them talk for a minute. I can't stop thinking about you. One more with it. I still want you in my life. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? <laughs> oh, they should know better, guys. Some on, on their intuitive level should kick in reading your energy over here. It's like, don't. No. <laughs> don't put yourself in that position. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get cut up. I should have spent more time listening to you. 
This is over here on you. Uh-oh. I felt a deviousness to this one. What else is coming out? I can't stand the distance between us. Ow, Taurus. <laughs> Back over here on this person. You deserve to be treated better. Of course. <laughs> I'm letting you have last word. When can I get my stuff? Ooh, bottom of the deck. Letting go, letting you go was so painful. Guys, all joking aside, I mean, this this would be a Maryland energy force because it's on the bottom of the deck. That it has been a painful experience, but I don't think they realized you're not to the point of being over a steaming bull about it. No. <laughs> and angry and if you kind of energy, that kind of energy, they don't realize they they need to be use caution before they approach you too much right now. Let some time pass so your heart can soften towards them. We're going to use uh, get our oracles here coming in towards that conversation. <laughs> if we get to that point, that cold conversation that we're headed for, and somebody getting cut up pretty good. Let's see what uh, Romance Angel Oracles bring out. Pop. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Ow. Yeah. Might just avoid the conversation altogether with them for a while. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Lover's Oracle we're going to get for my Taurus. This is for my Taurus. Mm, pop. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. I want to go one more. One more for my Taurus. Pop. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Ooh, Taurus. Guys, I hope it was helpful. Sending you love and light. Bless be.